take down my hair and I actually had filmed like two videos showing y'all how I stripped out my hair color and how I um lightened my hair but somehow the video footage got corrupted on my SD card I don't even know y'all to be honest but basically I used color oops to scrap yeah, to scrap the black dye out of my hair. And then I used um, Clairol Textures and Tones to lighten my hair. And like I told you guys before, I do have a little bit of breakage right here. So that's why um, it's really, really blonde right here. But my roots everywhere pretty much took the dye really, really good. Um, Yeah, like, but the length of my hair is like an auburn rust brown and it's actually very very pretty um i wouldn't mind rocking this color if my roots weren't this light so my hair either has to be this light or this dark not in between and honestly i don't know how to fix it without without like re dyeing my hair again or just going to a professional and right now it's the corona i just want my hair to have a cute color on it and so i can go to the gym and basically just sweat it out because that's all there is to do now so today we are going to dye my hair and i'm going to use the adore 30 ginger um and this only has about this much left in it because i used it before um last year <laughs> um and i'm gonna use this adore in paprika so it's gonna be more of this like reddish tone i did order more ginger to do you know when this color fades but we're just gonna go with the flow y'all honestly i want to be able to just go out in public without looking like who done it and why the worst quarantine oh, lord have mercy I mean, my hair is still healthy, so that's all I really care about, but yeah. Okay, so this is what my hair looking like. I'm hoping this video don't get corrupted because I really want y'all to see this. So if if I pop up one day with red hair and y'all didn't get to see the video, it's not my fault. I tried, okay? I tried. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to mix both of these bottles into this white bowl here. And I'm also going to squirt in some conditioner. Honestly, I don't have any conditioner handy. So I'm just going to use this Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Deep Conditioner. Conditioner, deep conditioner, whatever. I like to do this so that it's kind of like the dot. Because I just lightened my hair and stripped my hair. Mmm, it smells so good. I don't want to um, overdo it. Even though this is only semi-permanent dye, I still don't want to overdo it. So I'm going to pour both of these bottles into this bowl and we're going to get started. You do want to wear a shirt that you don't care about. And as you can see, the color, oops, took the color out of my shirt. Um, and you do want to wear a pair of gloves. And I'm definitely going to be lining my forehead with the Vaseline to make sure that I don't stain my head. So I'm going to start applying this and speed it up for y'all. I really hope y'all get this video honestly because I made a couple of videos and they have never seen the light of day because they were corrupted. And that's just so sad. All right, this is what the ginger looks like so far. So I'm trying to get all of it that I can out because really I want my hair to be ginger and not red. I have both in here now. I'm just going to mix them up. Okay. Um. It kind of made like a gingery red color. You can see it. Kind of see it on the... Okay. All right, bet. So I'm about to apply this to my hair. And we're going to go ahead and get started. I might add a little bit more of the red just because last time I dyed my hair, I didn't put enough. And I had to remix. And obviously, the color's not going to be the same because you had to remix. All right, y'all. Um, The dye is on my hair. This is what the color is looking like. I'm actually, I actually have extra which I am just going to slather on my head to make sure the color is even. And then the bottle says to give it 15 minutes, but I typically leave this on for like an hour. I probably shouldn't do that, but maybe 30 minutes. But I feel like 15 minutes just ain't enough. Like it's a color deposit. I need it to deposit the color. I mean, I put conditioner in it, it's, it's safe, right? 
Let me stop for my hair fall out. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna come back. When I got it washed out. Ooh, when I got it washed out. Hopefully it don't look a hot mess, y'all. If it look a hot mess, I'm not I'm not put, I'm not gonna blow this video. Period. You're not gonna see it. You're not gonna see me again. <laughs> All right, y'all, so this is my final hair. I tried to turn up the brightness as bright as I could get it. But you can see that the red took to my hair, but that my roots are definitely a lot lighter because they were blonde. But I did still get an even application all throughout my hair, which is good. This I can live with. I can live with lighter red roots, but lighter blonde roots, honey child, you just asking to get talked about. But this, I can live with and as you can see my curl pattern is my son is in the room my curl pattern is a little bit more relaxed just a little bit I still have a lot of curl definition don't get me wrong like just look at my hair um but I'm very very happy my next course of treatment for this hair will be to re-lighten it in about two months but for now just doing the semi-permanent Rinses are going to be my go-to because they don't harm your hair. It's just a color deposit, so you won't be risking the integrity of your hair. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to style my hair, put a leave-in, some oil, some shea butter, and a gel, and then do two French, two French braids and call it a day. I do like to work out, so that's just going to be my go-to style until I feel like doing a nice little wash and go with it. But, look how long my bangs are, like, yes. Remember when I told y'all I'd cut them up here? I say what I said. <laughs> All right. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment anything down below. You want to criticize me. You want to give me some tips on how to lighten my hair even more without damaging it. I mean, let me know the time frame between what I should be doing the lightening treatments because I don't know exactly, but I'm going to give it two months, maybe a month. Um, let me know in the comments, you know, if you like this hair color. Let me know if you try it out. Let me know. And subscribe to this channel if you're new because since you made it this far, you obviously like the content, all right? And I'm going to see you in the next banger. Bye.